David Davila's capital murder trial has ended without a verdict. Jurors were unable to reach a unanimous decision in that case. Chris 6 News reporter Greg Chandler has details on just what happened. David Davila's capital murder trial ended with a hung jury, forcing Judge Jack Pulcher to declare a mistrial. Davila is accused of killing 13-year-old Alex Torres at the Treyway Apartments in January of 2015. Prosecutors argued Davila went to the apartments planning to shoot a woman carrying his child in retaliation for that woman calling Child Protective Services on Davila and his girlfriend, but shot Torres because he knocked on the wrong door. Torres' family says prosecutors didn't do enough. They blamed DA Mark Gonzalez for allowing witnesses to lie without challenging their testimony and not asking enough follow-up questions. Family members also said they weren't notified when Davila's girlfriend, Christina Trevino, was offered a plea deal in the case. Trevino pleaded guilty to a lesser charge in exchange for her testimony against Davila. She says she drove Davila to the Treyway Apartments that night, but had no idea why Davila went there. A juror who spoke to Chris Six News on the promise of anonymity says a lack of physical evidence in the case made it impossible for him to vote to convict. He says the vote was four guilty, eight not guilty. Torres family says DA Gonzalez told them he'd retry the case. No word on when the second trial will start. Greg Chandler, Chris Six News. Neither the district attorney nor Davila's defense team would comment on the case. They claim that they're under a gag order from Judge Jack Pulcher. He told Chris 6 News there is no gag order. Well,